Use these part drawings to build this part in SOLIDWORKS. Unit system millimeters, decimal places 2, part origin arbitrary, and material brass. This is the first example on the how to use reference geometries main video. If you haven't watched that 9 minute video yet, the link to it is found in the description below. Links to other examples like this are also found in the description of this video. We'll build this part by creating a rectangular prism first with dimensions 400 and 200 for a rectangle on the top plane and 90 millimeters for the extrusion in the Y axis. The three distinct features we see can be created in no particular order. Let's go from front to back. To remove the corner of the prism with the given triangular shape, we'll first create a reference plane on the surface that we see, draw a triangle on it, and use the triangle sketch to create an extruded cut coming out of the prism and therefore remove the material. To define the reference plane, we can either use three points, any of the three possible combinations of two lines, one, two, or three, or any of the three possible combinations of a point and a line, one, two, or three. Let's go with the center line from the front plane that begins 100 millimeters left from the corner we're removing and ends 22.5 millimeters below that same corner. And the second center line on the right plane that begins 100 millimeters to the right of the corner and ends where the first line ends as well. Under features, we go to reference geometry, we select plane and select the two lines and right click before moving the mouse to hit the green check mark. On this plane we create a sketch and anything larger than a triangle will work, but let's stick with the actual triangle so that this sketch is already fully defined. While we're here, we can add the circle that we'll use to create the cylindrical hole. The center of this circle is 75 millimeters away from the vertex on the left and 70 from the top. After hiding the reference plane and the centerline sketches we used to create it, we use the triangle sketch to do an extruded cut and we make it through all in the direction of the corner we want to remove. Since the sketch is hidden automatically by SOLIDWORKS after using it for a 3D feature, and we need the circle we just sketched for the hole, we click on it to show it again, and now we use the circle to create a second extruded cut in the opposite direction, also through all. Now we hide the sketch again. If we look at the dimensions of the second hole, we see that the diameter from the front is 30 millimeters, and the diameter from the top is 40 millimeters, which means that the shape of the hole is elliptical, not circular. With a sketch on the top plane, we locate a point 130 and 40 millimeters away from the front left corner. We then create a reference plane that forms a 30 degree angle between it and the top plane when seen from the front. We go to sketch, select the angled plane, and we create an ellipse with a 30 millimeter vertical diameter, a 20 millimeter horizontal radius, and we create a constraint for any of the four cardinal points with respect to the center of the ellipse for it to not be able to rotate and therefore be fully defined. We exit the sketch and use it to create an extruded cut 100 millimeters deep. The last feature we see is a hole with the shape of what is called a straight slot. With a reference plane that makes an angle of 42 degrees with respect to the top plane, as seen from the side, remember your alternate interior angles, corresponding angles, and complementary angle rules, we create a sketch of a straight slot on it. The distance from both sides is 35 millimeters, its radius 20 millimeters, and its lowest point 60 millimeters from the edge of the prism. We exit the sketch and use it to create yet another through all extruded cut. And done! We assign it a brass material and we hide unwanted planes and sketches. The links to more CSWA type examples as well as the main 10 minute lectures of the SOLIDWORKS course are found in the description below, so make sure to check them out. Thanks for watching.